Hey guys, so I want to talk about decal types and how we can work with them and stuff. So we may want to do this for a variety of reasons, um, adding some images to walls and stuff. And, and mostly this is for rendering. So, you know, if you want to add a uh, image to a desktop computer or a um, image on a TV or whatever it is, we have some options to do that within the decal types. So you'll find that on the manage tab over here, we can see the decal types um, button under the or on the manage project panel. It's gonna um, give you this dialog box, and then you can kind of work with uh, the decals that you have, and you can add some new ones. Um, I'm gonna exit out of this. You can also go over into your insert tab, and then um, over here. You can select that drop down and then go to decal types there as well. So you have two two different areas. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add some new ones. So I've already got two um, that I want to add. So I'm gonna just quickly get their names. okay and then we have some settings over here so brightness reflectivity transparency I mean there's a number of different things and you more or less want to mess with this to just make the image um, you know a higher quality um, if it doesn't look uh, you know as, as bright as it needs to be you know uh, mess with these settings mess with them until you get what you want pretty much um, so I'll go find that image select open and we can see that it comes in so I'm gonna go ahead and just press OK so we can start placing it I'm gonna add one more just so we have a couple to work with and we'll browse out to that one and grab it I'm gonna press OK so now with those added to our um, model we can then come over here to our decal button and um, we can select it so we can just well if I actually can press it so if we come back we can just press this and then it puts us into that um, kind of active windows to where we can start placing it so over here to the left, we can drop down and we get our different types. So I've already got the one I want selected, so I'm just going to add it to a wall. So I've added that. I'm now going to come over here and grab this one, and let's say we want it... right here okay I'm gonna escape I'm gonna come over here and change the discipline to uh, coordination and uh, just make sure that your visual style is set to realistic I don't think yeah consistent colors so realistic and then um, I don't think it matters if you change this so uh, with those set, you can kind of see what they look like. So we've got both um, paintings on the wall. And you can, you know, uh, put a family there and add it that way as well. So there's a variety of different way things that you can do with these. But it really, you know, makes a, uh, um, a model pop. Um, and it's not too difficult to get it set up. Just keep it in mind that when you're doing these, um, if we go back into our decal types, the source is um, path to a specific location so you may run into some issues when it comes to uh, sharing these models so make sure that whatever this the source file is that it's kind of in a shared location so that other people have access it access to it as well if it's not just a local um, you know project that you're just working on your local machine on um, because if you don't, it'll have just, I mean, just like anything else, it's a link, so it's going to have issues with um, pathing it correctly. So just keep that in mind when you're setting it up. But as you see, it's pretty easy. You just grab some images, 
and then you path it to it and then you have some options to kind of edit them change their size and stuff you can also if you select them you have some options in here as well too so you can go to edit type you can go in here and edit the actual properties to it you can uh, add some information to it you can come over here and change the width and the height um, if you want to lock the properties <clears throat> so you have a variety of different things and, and um, that you can do with it so um, and as you saw there I can also scale it so um, by just manually selecting the little pulleys on there so we can just drag it in and out um, so hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with it um, and that it's not too difficult to bring the images in and uh, hopefully this helps you out somehow I appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot